day, my Muslim friend. Thank you so much that you said I must look at Ahmed Didat's video on Is the Bible the Word of God? I read that he is the founder of the Islamic Propagation Center International in Durban, and their aim is to ridicule the Bible and its message. Now, I was surprised by his first argument that he set out. He said that there is, isn't just one Bible, but many Bibles. And then he asked his opponent to say to him, which is the real Bible? He had different translations of the Bible in front of him, Swedish, English, etc. I was listening to this and I thought this is a very bad argument. To be honest, not even an argument at all. Let me explain. Here I have two Qurans. One is in Afrikaans and the other in English. I also know that there is other, are other English translations of the Quran and also the one, of course, in the original language. Now, which one of these are the real Quran? I mean, they are in different languages. I am sure you will tell me, but I told you, Ronald, when we first met, that the Muslim faith is for the whole world. Now, the whole world cannot read the Quran in its original language, so it is translated into different languages that people may understand it in their own language. Now, for the followers of Jesus, the same rule applies. For Jesus said, Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus said, we must make disciples of all nations. So the Bible is translated into different languages. There aren't many Bibles, just many translations of the Bible. So, if Mr. Didat ridicules the Bible and its message based on the fact that there is different translations of the Bible, then he must also then ridicule the Quran on the same basis. But I'm sure he doesn't do that. That is why I thought this is a very bad argument. For he is cutting off the branch that he himself is sitting on. Then his second argument is that the word Elohim is translated as God, single God, in Genesis 1 verse 1. But Elohim in Hebrew means gods, plural. So the Bible is wrongly translated even in the beginning, at the first verse of the Bible. Well, I am no Hebrew scholar, so I googled Elohim, and there they say it is in the plural. But if it is linked to a verb that is in the singular, then it must be translated as singular, like with Elohim, as God. Elohim is linked to the singular verb action. So it didn't even take me a minute to find out that this argument of his is also wrong. I felt sad about this because the question I ask myself is, does it mean that he just didn't understand how the Hebrew language works when he went into this debate? Or did he know this? but he deliberately set out to present only half of the truth, and as you know, half of the truth is really a lie. What I mean with half of a truth is that, yes, Elohim is in the plural, but then he leaves out the part that says, if this name is linked to a singular verb active, then it is singular. God. And what is even worse is that, that he doesn't just try to deceive Christians, but also his Muslim followers, like you, my Muslim friend. You are also deceived because you don't hear the whole truth.